Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I'm going to show you how to set up EMU Deck so you can play Dreamcast games. It uses RetroArch, it doesn't have a you know direct emulator, let's say how GameCube and Wii has Dolphin, how PS2 has PCSX2, etc. It doesn't have that. But that's fine, you know, it works great and it's not too difficult to set up. So first of all, I want to say this video is not condoning piracy. It is for educational purposes only. I recommend for legal purposes that you own a Dreamcast and that you, you know, you own the games that you are playing. But other than that, it is up to you what you do. Okay, we're going to first of all switch to desktop mode. That's where the installation will take place. And to do that, you press the Steam button. You go to power. Switch to desktop. Okay, so in a few seconds I will switch to desktop. If you never use desktop mode, don't worry. I'm going to explain how to navigate through desktop mode. To control the mouse, you can either touch the screen. I don't prefer, like that method because it's a pretty small screen. And it's like a, well, it's a desktop mode. It's not like a tablet mode. And it's, it's not the most intuitive. The method I recommend is using the right trackpad. And that can act as like an actual mouse that's a lot better and let me close this down and to left click you have a few different ways you can either click the trackpad itself you can press the r2 button and if you press l2 it's the right click so those are the few buttons you will need to know first of all go ahead and open up firefox and if your firefox isn't there you can just go to the the menu go to all application then just find it there and now we need to search for emu deck i've got it right there emudeck.com but obviously you're going to be typing it the keyboard doesn't automatically appear you have to press the steam button plus x so if i press steam and x it can take a few seconds just you know just wait patiently and then just type in emu deck Okay, so yeah, uh, I am on the EMU Deck website now, and if I just go off there, you just go to download, go to download installer, and it's saying you just need to copy to the desktop, that's fine, and now we can just copy this to our desktop. So if I open it up, and we've got it here to copy it, you just right click using the L2 button, Go to copy, go to desktop. So you need to copy it and you need to leave it here. So right click, go to paste. I've already pasted one file, I've already got it, so I'm gonna ignore that. Now let's go ahead and launch it up and set up EMU deck. So just double click that. Again, you can use the right trackpad, the R2 button, or the touch screen. Now from here, there's Mine's saying update just because I've already got EMU deck installed, but yours will be, you know, like a custom install or a quick install. I recommend the custom install. Go to continue. And then choose where you want to actually store your, you know, your games. I'm going to be storing them on the SD card, and that's where you store your BIOS files as well. So if you was to, I guess, have you know, two SD cards or more, you will need to have the BIOS files again on that new, new one, just bear in mind, or you can store it on internal or a custom directory. I'm gonna choose SD card. Click continue, choose your console, for this it's Steam Deck. And now, unselect Dolphin. We wanna select Retro Arc. And if you've already installed emu deck maybe you did it for dolphin or pcsx2 you watched one of my videos on that if you're coming back and thinking okay if i'm deselecting it is it uninstalling no don't worry deselecting one of the emulators that you've already set up does not affect it it won't uninstall it won't reset it won't modify it so that's just you know just a little note and go to continue and the next menu will be the update emulators configuration. I'm going to deselect that and just go to RetroArch. Click continue. And now for here it says configure, autosave. 
you can do on or off but for our console which is going to be a sega dreamcast it doesn't affect it it's just because retroarch can be used for a lot of other you know functions you know you can configure retro achievements which is fantastic i know the game that i'll be testing crazy taxi and dreamcast has you know achievements which is cool click continue again none of this applies to us and uh, again none of this applies to us still doesn't apply this one does so this is dreamcast you can configure the aspect ratio for classic 3d games so you can use the original aspect ratio or you can go full screen using a widescreen hack and you'll get black bars on the top and bottom to just bear that in mind you can always change it in the settings afterwards if you want to but it will give, show you more of the game world click continue again not relevant to us not relevant to us not to us uh, okay so configure you can configure a crt shader for dreamcast so if you turn that on you'll you know have like the old crt lines feel free to do that your choice click continue i'm gonna go with the epic noir look that's the go-to theme that I, ha I use click next store homebrew games we're gonna leave that as no and that's it so if you've got one you know sort of emulator let's say retro arcing selected it does not take too long it takes a while if you're doing it for the first time and you've got a bunch of emulators you know selected but because i've already done it and i'm only selecting the one which is retro arc which yes it does <laughs> allow you to play a lot of games but it's not all the other ones like dolphin and rpcs3 uh, yuzu and ryu drink and pcsx2 therefore it won't you know take too long Okay, so installation is now complete. Before we continue with installation or the setup, I'm gonna show you where to put your games and your BIOS files. For legal purposes, I cannot show you, you know, where to get hold of the games or the BIOS files. Literally, if you Google the name of your game like Crazy Taxi and then plus Dreamcast plus download in Google, you'll get it. Or if you Google Dreamcast BIOS, trust me, you'll find it. So feel free to do that. And if you have any questions about any part of this video, feel free to post on the Discord group and we'll, you know, help you out. Okay, so what we are going to do, like I said, show you where to do the games and the ROMs. I mean, the BIOSes, BIOS files. And what you want to do is go to where you installed it. So for me, it's in you know, SD card. Go to emulation. Ignore all the other folders I had there. And in BIOS, we need to create a DC folder. So I'm going to delete it. Yeah, move to trash and to create a new folder you right click using l2 you go to create new folder and you name it so press steam and x to launch the keyboard up you name it dc for dreamcast click enter and now that's created the dc folder in there you need to put your dreamcast bios files i already have them in the downloads folder here we go so just copy and paste you know the dot bin and you know the two dot bin files again you can easily get hold of them it's not hard to do and do, 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 do. dc paste okay now that we've pasted them let me show you the games so you go to emulation you go to roms you find dreamcast there we go and you just put your game folder in here and as you can see with this it's got you know a bunch of bin files and q file you just put it all in here like so and that's it next if we go off that here we're going to launch the steam rom manager now and that finds click yes Okay, so from here, this is very important. Deselect parsers, like the toggle next to it. Let me focus a bit more on there. And now you want to select just emulation station DE and emulators, because otherwise you don't want to 
accidentally because if you just had it by default it would have selected all the individual emulators uh, that you will be setting up and let's say with dreamcast you have 20 games all of those 20 games will appear in your regular steam library that might sound cool but imagine if let's say you have a um, i don't know 100 ps1 games a thousand game boy advance games trust me you don't want them all clogging up your regular library there's a separate way of accessing them that's a lot better click save i always get an error but i always find it saves it anyway go to preview click generate app list and here we go for some reason i do have multiple emulators if i don't maximize it only two appear i can't scroll down but if i maximize it the rest appear <laughs> again weird but it's one of those things and here's retroarch i can change this icon i can add a new icon by clicking that button the custom one and now you know i can download this as well if i want to and that's it just click save app list if i go off this now now launch emu deck up again we're not going to go through the installation process again we're just going to go to the tools menu and go to the bottom tools and stuff so the few things here i want to show you first of all is feel free to add you know power tools and you know decky controls it you know, provides a lot more flexibility with you know your console but you will need to add the pseudo password and the next one is the emu deck compressor if you go on here it allows you to compress a bunch of games one of the ones is if you look is dreamcast i'm not going to do it can take a bit of time bear that in mind if you've got a lot of games recommend that you do it as you're adding games so if you add a couple uh, you know today compress it you add a couple in a few days compress it instead of at, you know having 50 and trying to compress it. it can take hours and hours okay click go back and that can save up to 70 percent space also a little note if you go to update emulators and tools you can update them by clicking update flat packs and update app images and depending on how your emulators were installed it will update them next is steam ROM manager which we was already in save backup that allows you to save your backups to a cloud storage i'll be setting this up for google drive that's my go-to storage platform but this is in beta so just bear that in mind go back uh, if we click check BIOS, it checks it. The one we're interested in is Dreamcast. So if there's an error there or it comes up as orange and it says something like BIOS not detected, it is not mandatory, but it is recommended something along those lines, that means there's a problem with your BIOS. It's not detected it. That's not a good sign. So that will happen by default even if you don't add one. But if you want the best compatibility, you want to add the BIOS files, which I have done. If you have any issues, like I said, just feel free to ask on the Discord group. Uh, quick settings we can ignore that in emulators guides if you go to the uh, retro arc it gives you some shortcuts some hotkeys i'll be covering all that in a separate video so you know more in depth and it also you know tells you you know the bios is here and you can reset the configuration if you mess something up you can go and reset it and other than that we're all good to go we can actually now launch our games so if we go to return to gaming mode so there's two ways of launching games now. You can either use Emulation Station or you can use RetroArch directly. I will show you both methods once it loads up. Okay, press the Steam button, go to Library, and you'll notice there's a new section called Collections if you didn't already have that. Go to emulation and the first method i'm going to show you is emulation station this is very basic but it does the job and the beauty of using something like emu deck is it sets up the graphics you know settings really well it sets up you can always override them which i will show you how to set up sets up the controls really well it just works so if i go to dreamcast there we go got one game crazy taxi open that click the game inside the folder i have found sometimes the games don't launch straight away so it's got the widescreen you know cheat hack 
it's logged into retro achievements this worked out of the box straight away for me i have had it in the past where i've launched it and i've had to launch it two or three times that's just you know the the name of the game with emulators bear that in mind if you have that issue try and launch it a few times and if it still doesn't work then let us know otherwise it should work okay so obviously i can play As you can see it's working, I'm going to go off this now and then obviously you know we do have all the different ways of saving so I could press the select button I guess and R1 it's you know saving the state now but again like I said I'm going to cover that all in a separate video and obviously feel free to have a look at those controls when I showed you in EMU deck. Now I'm going to show you the other method which is RetroArch so if we open that up Click open. Unlike some of the other emulators, this is very friendly with what's it called? Uh, what am I looking for? The you know the just the game controls. You know the gamepad compared to some of the other emulators. If you go directly in, you need like some sort of mouse configuration. So here, what you want to do is go to import content, and you go scan directory. You can even scan this directory. That will scan all your you know your games. All your emulators can take a bit of time, bear that in mind. Or you can go directly to Dreamcast. Click scan this directory. Won't take long. Though it depends on how many games you have, obviously. And that's it. Obviously, I've got other stuff here as well. But if I go to... No, Dreamcast. And I can launch the game. Oh, you may not have a thumbnail like so. If I open it up, you go to download thumbnails and obviously if you if it's not associated with any core as you can see right here just go to set core association and just find sega dreamcast there we go click that there and that's it you can rename it if you want to remove it you can add it to favorites and you can also go to settings you know, change the you know graphic settings right here. Uh, you can change the, you know the the different. You can change the renderer. You can change you know all sorts of stuff. You can change a lot of stuff right here, and you can change input. So feel free to mess around with that. You can change the control, the hockey, the you know control for the game. I'm going to leave you at this, but that's where you would mess around with all that. And obviously, if you have any issues, just let me know. And next, we just launch the game up. Press that, press that, press run. If it doesn't launch up straight away, <laughs> which it did for me just now, but when I was actually testing before this video, it took a two or three times for me to launch the game up. And as you can see, it's working. I'm just going to go into the game. Hey, hey, come on. It's party time. Let's have some fun. All right. Alright, let's get it on. Hey, 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 it's time to make some crazy money. Are you ready? Here I am ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh. A bit awkward. I think I'm going to pause it. So, that is it. That, let me turn the volume down. That's how you set up Dreamcast using EMU Deck on Steam Deck. If you have any questions, feel free to post on the discord group link in the description along with all the other relevant links that you will require and or just post in the comments if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button stay tuned for all the other upcoming emu deck videos i'll be doing more videos daily and i'll be doing videos on the different hotkeys as well if for individual emulators solely focusing on the different ways of saving loading fast forwarding all of that good stuff and let me know what else you would like to see. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.